was your lover once Before we gave up on the care Flies buzzing round a leaking fresh They won't forgive the things we're dead After the rain Now here we are The girl with the Midas touch Watching Ivan's ecstasy While you're making love to me Lonely as I can be After the rain Right, we're back from the ride. Welcome back to Suck for HQ. Hello, Jules. Hello, Phil. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. So, what do we think about the MOG? And particularly, what do we think about it with respect to the NV Melee, which we've been um, working with at CycleFit for a time now, and we're doing incredibly well with, and it's a bike we love very much. So, here we have the MOG. Um, geometry differences between the Melee and the MOG. The MOG in a 54 is actually 3 mil longer than the Melee and 13 mil higher. So it's a longer and higher bike. And that, I guess, is the difference between the MOG and many other gravel bikes out there, including the Open and, in fact, our own land race, Tupelo. It's longer and it's a, bit, a wee bit higher. Um, and, it, and it rides very, very well. It's a very fast gravel bike. I would say this bike is more suited to somebody who wants to ride gravel very fast than probably someone like myself who wants to take things a bit easier. Don't underestimate yourself. Phil. Yep. Okay. I'm not underestimating myself, Jules. That's okay. just simply the truth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other outstanding feature, I think, to mention, Jules, about this bike is that Envy is very much aimed this um, at somebody who wants to use 700c wheels and doesn't want to put 60 wheels in. That's their kind of SUP, if you like. They're saying 650 is dead uh, and build in more clearance for a 700c wheel. I might agree with them, actually. Yeah, I, yeah. Think that's, I think yeah. that's what we're seeing, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Less 650b wheels yep. uh, and much more 700c. And does it remind you of the whole thing we went to, when we went to 29ers with mountain bikes? You know, we, you know, where we started, suddenly people were seeing benefits from riding 29ers, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. I think the rolling, they roll better over rough yeah. ground. Yeah. And if you think about it, this is a 29er wheel. Yes. Put a 50 mil tyre on it. Yes. It's a two inch tyre. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a 29er with drop bars, Absolutely. possibly. Yeah. And that's a good thing, I think. So they, they put a stake in the ground that the future is a 700c wheel with increased enhanced clearances, in this case, 50 mil. The other thing about this bike I particularly like is I like all the integration. I think yep. it just looks... Very neat. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really super clean. And when you ride it, it feels nice. It feels really lovely to ride the whole integrated bar stem, Envy seat post, Envy wheels. It's all quality stuff and that's how it feels. Very smooth, very clean, very integrated. And the thing is, if Envy haven't got carbon right now, nobody's have they? I mean, they've been no, doing yeah. it for a long yeah. time, haven't they? And that's always good quality. Always very good quality. Um, and it's, I mean, it's not a cheap frame. Fuselage, I think, is 5,000. 5.5, five, five. Yep. including stem, bars, and seat posts. And that, this is the all roads bar, so in the UK, you're, you're looking at this as around 440, just for your bar, 360 for the seat post. So all in all, it's a very, very good package, very competitive. Yep. Do you want to say anything about the luggage? I don't really do luggage, Jules, as you um, well know, but... So uh, on this particular bike, we've got mounts here for fork luggage. I don't do a lot of luggage myself, <laughs> never get the privilege, but uh, we've also got this little um, box here. We can slide out. This is your internal luggage compartment. I don't know if you can see that there, Vaughan. And then these come out, look, and you can put anything that's that sort of shape in back into your bike. So Salami. Salami, yeah, a long sausage, <laughs> yeah. a torch maybe, in a, well, anything you fancy. That all goes in there, that knocks away. What else do we have on the frame? We have, so it can run um, single chain ring and double chain ring, and the way they've shaped the rear stays, you're not limited to the size of your chain ring. So this is a 42. I'm going to bring it forward a little bit. Here we go. If you could just look down there, Vaughan. I don't know if you can see down there. The light's okay. You can see how they flatten this chainstay. 
So we've got loads and loads of space here. Kept the, kept the queue stance width for like a standard road. But you could go up to a 50 on here if you wanted, if you were so inclined. Um, got a little bit of um, cable route in here for your DI2. Brazons for your front mech. And then inside here, we've got fender mounts or mudguard mounts here. And where we've got that ch narrow chain stay, I don't know if you can see, there's your DI2 cable coming out. Then it comes, it goes into the frame and it pops out under here, under this chain stay guide, and then goes back into the frame down here. So we've got to keep this space nice and clean. Yeah, very neat. Top tube cable uh, bag mounts here. And then we've got the integrated front end, which is super neat. And the mechanics like it, they say it works really well. Really smooth, no, no nicking or cracking or anything of cables. Nice. So tidy. The mechanics also like the T47 bottom bracket, don't they? They do, yeah. And so do customers. And so do customers. After a long period of time. Yep. So a T47 threaded just means that rather than being a press fit bottom bracket, which can be prone to a bit of cre creaking and movement over time, you screw the bottom bracket in so it's much straighter and uh, much more durable, lasts longer. And last but not least, third bottle cage mount under here and down tube protector as well, which is nice. A nice graphic on there, so a lot of attention to detail. Yeah. I really like it. It really is. There is a lot of detail there, yeah. isn't it? Which calls into question: When do you, if you're buying one bike, when do you buy that, and when do you buy the melee? Because this will take 35 or even 38 mil tyres at a push, won't it? Um, yep. So there's a big overlap between these two bikes, isn't there? Like, if you look at the Venn diagram, there's a massive bit in the middle, isn't there? Yeah. I was going to try. They're different sizes, but I was going to try and pull this one up to, so you could have a little look as well. Look, it's like Blue Peter. Yeah, there we go. So there you have their two, their two new bikes. So, yeah, slightly less of an angle on the top tube. More, more aerodynamics, closer clearances, same integrated front end here, same handlebar. And we are seeing a tendency for road bars now to have that flare all the time. So you, it's definitely an all roads bar. Um, does this one have the mudguard mounts as well? No, yes. I don't think so. Oh, does it? Yes, really. I didn't does know it. that. Didn't, didn't know, know that. that. All weather, 35 mil. So, what, when would you use one and not the other? This one's going to be for more off-road riding, more endurance work, bike packing. If you wanted a fast, smoother road bike with a wider tyre option, then this is going to be a, yeah. the bike for you. But well, you can see where we've kind of, our heart is. I mean, we've built our test bike up with, what are they, 35 or 38 mil gravel tyres, haven't we? Gravel yep. Kings. So we've got a kind of semi-aero road bike there built up with 35mm Gravel Kings. Yeah, I think... Um, There's the future, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. So that's it. We really like the Morgue. Superb bike. It's very, very quick. You need to come in, Phil, we just need to speak. Very comfortable, very, very quick, very, very stylish. Uh, and it, it rides with, a, as Jules says, a, an immense attention to detail. It feels like a real quality package. Impressed. Yeah. And we've got test bikes in store, so if you want to come out and try one, feel free to give us a buzz, come in and try one of the bikes. Thank you.